Hello everybody, it is Battle Angel, and this is a first impressions review on a game that's about four years old or something like that. It's Dragon Age Inquisition. I played it for the PS3 back in 2015. Got it free under EA Access. Thought I'd try it for, I think about a couple hours. This is after a couple hours playing it. It's just first impression. And it's fun. I remember being hooked on like Dragon Age Origins and after a while getting bored. It is a bit slow. It's a typical fantasy RPG. And I don't really play a lot of them because they are slower pace and it's mostly going on, on these long quests. Like this one, I don't really play like games like The Witcher. And, but this has got a little bit more action in it. It's not open world, thank God. I know that's why I don't play open world. Guys. It holds up. It's like I said, four years old. Early. This was during. It was made during the transitional period of like PS3, last generation to this generation. So, it, this is PS4. So it kind of looks like a. It is an early PS4 game, late PS3 game. The graphics look about the same. When I'm rem remembering it, it looks about the same as the PS3 version. Because they, it's EA. I think they just made the game just for both systems not really updating or watering down the graphics but it could be wrong so I mean that was uh it has like you know you create your character you know you could be an archer or you, know, you can be like elf human you know typical the leveling is you know you kill enemies you get XP it's not like Skyrim or anything. I, mean, I think you get XP for completing missions as well. You also get Inquisition influence when you do certain things as well, which I think I believe helps in the later game. If I'm mistaken. And then you get like companions. You get relationships. You build your own typical Bioware. It's kind of like it's a fantasy version of Mass Effect. That's how I, that's how I play it. I don't play it as like a, like it's like I play it as like a Fantasy Mass Effect, because it's made of the same people who made Mass Effect Bioware, and before they went to crap with the Andromeda and Anthem ain't that bad. It's just they force you to do that's this this shield. They force you to do multiplayer stuff to progress through the story, which I know it's a multiplayer game, but they force you to do these stupid strongholds and like raids. It's like Destiny. That's why I was quit playing Destiny. But it's got like a, you can, typical like, you know, hack and slash, or you can like pause, you can do like a strategy game kind of thing. We can pause the game, tell each, you can control each member of your party. You gotta build, the story is like this interdimensional rift opens and someone, your character has this thing that can close it. And people th think that you started it. So you gotta go tell people different and close rifts, build it. In, Influence Inquisition, build it up members, level up members, and be strong enough to stop it once and for all. But I'll play it later. Got lots of other games to play right now. Kind of game, more games I enjoy playing better right now. But anyways, thanks for us. Uh, gonna be it for this quick little review. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And y'all have a good one.